Yankees fans, what is up? Let's talk about how writers are really spending so much time trying to convince Major League Baseball fans that Shohei Ohtani is the rookie of the year based off of war. Like I said in my previous video, if you are going to make it a point that war is the main stat that makes a player great, you better start making the point that war is better than average. So anytime a player comes to the plate, you better start writing articles the same way you're writing articles about Otani. You better start writing articles about, hey, we need to ditch uh, average and let's start judging a player based off of war. If that was the case, there's a whole bunch of Major League MVPs that have won that award based off of average, based off of home runs, based off of RBIs, etc., on base percentage. But these MVPs have played for losing teams. So in my opinion, these writers like John Heyman, uh, Ken Rosenthal, etc., they're colluding with some sort of lobbyists that are paying them to put this information out. Again, I don't know if it's true. It's just my opinion. But the way they're going hard at this makes me wonder if there's some sort of collusion going on. If you are going to give the Rookie of the Year award just because Otani pitches and bats, it's going to be easy for other Major League Baseball teams to develop players and have them as some sort of do-everything kind of player, pitching and batting. So let's say another player similar to Otani comes up, has a similar year, or these same writers going to vouch for that player. Let's say that player is Latino. Let's say that player is white. Let's say that player is black. Is John Heyman, is Ken Rosenthal, are these writers going to come out and say, hey, this player deserves Rookie of the Year because he pitches and he hits? Everybody that's paying attention, they know. Miguel Andahar is your undisputed rookie of the year. Even if he gets hurt at this point and comes back and maybe in September, but God forbid he gets hurt. Otani got hurt. Otani is dealing with elbow injuries. Imagine next year if he needs Tommy John surgery. Imagine if his career is never the same. What if he does win the rookie of the year? These writers and these people that are casting votes, they're just going to look like, hey, we got money from under the table and we stole Rookie of the Year from Miguel Andahar. So like I said, if these writers want to take it there about war, war this and war that, they better start coming out and saying, hey, forget average. When a player comes up, display war. Okay, if th these guys want to take it there. They better start lobbying MOB to change the way a player is perceived. Players that lost out on the MVP probably had a higher war than all these other players on losing teams that won it. I'll tell you this as of now. Miguel Andahorn loses out on Rookie of the Year. There's obvious collusion going on. I don't want to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but um, they are making the case that um, they're about to screw Miguel Andahorn over. And it's going to be a disgrace. Miguel Andahar, by doubles alone, buries Otani. Hey, if that's the case, uh, have uh, Miguel Andahar pitch in a blowout game and have pitching stats to his uh, record, to his resume for a uh, rookie of the year, if that's how it's going to work. So, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Do you think they are trying to steal rookie of the year from Miguel Andahar? What do you think about all these writers making the case for Otani? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.